Mingala Barkmia, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. At least 14 members of the Kachin state-based anti-drug vigilante group Pat Jia San were injured on Thursday. The group came under fire from unknown assailants when slashing opium poppy fields in the Waimo area. At least 9 o'clock this morning, the group came under small arms and grenade attacks, according to a spokesperson for Pat Jia San. He said there was a group of policemen that were on security detail for the group, but they were overwhelmed by the organised attack. It is not yet known who is responsible for planning it. Meanwhile, a parliamentary motion was passed today calling on the government to provide more support and protection for the anti-poppy activists. Pat Jassan is backed by the Kachin Baptist Church. The group enjoys widespread public support, despite the sometimes brutal treatment of those it deems to be drug offenders. Displaced villages in the Namtu district of northern Shan State say they are desperate for aid. 80 people are sheltering between Namtu and Lashio towns after fleeing fighting. As the Burmese army fought the Ta'ang Nationality's Liberation Army in the group's Palong self-administered zone. The villagers say they have no food, water or electricity after being forced to abandon their solar-powered lamps. Dozens of children are among the group, who have had no schooling since fighting broke out in the area late last year. A tiger was shot dead on Wednesday in the Karen state town of Corkrate after it had injured three people. Two attacks in one day on Thursday saw the tiger maul villages. Two fishermen were initially attacked before daybreak. A third was attacked shortly after when assisting the two men. Villagers said they were initially unaware of what had attacked the fishermen. Troops from a nearby militia shot the tiger at around 11 a.m. The three injured men were taken to hospital where their injuries were described as non-life-threatening. You can find more at all of today's top stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.